Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Nekopara Volume 1. Last time, our boy Kashao moved out of the house, and a couple of his cat girls came along with him. Oops. My bad. There we go. Now then, why were the two of you hiding amongst my moving boxes? asked Kashao. You said you wouldn't bring us with you, so we had no choice, says Chocolate. Chocolate said she was going, so I tagged along, says Vanilla. You had no choice? Just tagged along? You too, I, says Kashal. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? asked Kashal. How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic, he says. I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shinguri and the other cat girls are there too, says Kashao. It would be better if you two just... <laughs> that, that, that's not it. I'm, it's just that, uh, I did um, Chocolate stomach is being rebellious, she says. So, that's not it, really. Master moved out really early in the morning, so there was no time to eat breakfast, says Vanilla. The sound of Chocolate's stomach rumbling is cute anyways, she says. While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I haven't eaten anything since this morning either. Well, says Kashao, why don't we have lunch first, then? Yay, food! Chocolate loves masters, she says. Understanding as ever, master. We are in your debt, says Vanilla. These two are easy going as always, I think to myself. Getting fired up now? Okay, so there's actually little transitional bits. Shopping, shop. Bing, says Chocolate, chopping together with Master. Lately, Master hadn't taken us shopping with him at all, says Vanilla. So that's why Chocolate is in such a good mood right now. You're really happy too, right, Vanilla? asks Chocolate. Come on, Chocolate is going to squish your cheeks. Phew. Chocolate, that tickles, says Vanilla. Don't. You'll bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two, says Kashao. Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you come here, we have just about everything, says the sign. That was how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Wait, don't you two go shopping with Shinguri often, I ask? Mmm, shopping with Shinguri-chan and shopping with Master are totally different, says Chocolate. Huh, <laughs> it's troubling that Master doesn't have the proper mindset of a Master. Chocolate pities you, says Vanilla. Hey, first of all, Shinguri is your Master, I say. Shinguri-chan is our Master too, but Shinguri-chan is Shinguri-chan. That's why Master is Master, says Chocolate. It's totally different, right? 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 asks Chocolate. I don't understand your reasoning, but I can tell that you're very enthusiastic. Just as expected of chocolate, clap clap clap, is vanilla. Never mind then, says Kashao. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store, okay? He asks. I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. <laughs> Master Shinjuri Chan said this was a good shampoo. It makes your hair all smooth and smells really nice and sweet, too, says vanilla. But that's stuff for you two to use, says Kashao. I don't need it, so put it down and come over here, he says. Fwee, master, that means, says Chocolata. It feels like you hit me, Oh, says Chocolate. Now, now, don't cry, Chocolate. Master is an awful person, isn't he, asks Vanilla. Don't just say that and then toss that in the basket all nonchalantly, says Kashao. His defense is strong, says Vanilla. I had to be on my guard or they would sneak something in whenever I wasn't paying attention. 
They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they had decided to come along. <laughs> Sorry, Master says Chocolate. It's been a long time since Chocolate went shopping, Master, so Chocolate got really excited. Cat girls are honest, so it can't be helped, says Vanilla. It would be nice if Master was honest, too. Slip. <laughs> Heard. It has nothing to do with being honest, I'm telling you. Don't just put the shampoo in the basket like that. Put it back, says Kashao. We repent, please, Master, says Chocolate. We beg of you, we beg of you to buy the shampoo for chocolate and vanilla. It's sad to return to a home that doesn't have shampoo. Cat girls don't like having oily hair, says Vanilla. He won't even buy shampoo for those cat girls? The poor things, says a random female customer. I wonder if we should report him for cat girl abuse, says the other one. <laughs> Don't put on some act to confuse the customers around us. Seriously, says Kashao. We only just moved here, but suddenly we already have disapproving glares directed at us. Going out with Master is lots of fun, says Chocolate. It makes me want to start purring. He didn't buy us anything, though. Master's such a cheapskate, says Vanilla. I'm not a cheapskate, says Kashao. Besides, I nearly got reported, he says. After that, it was some sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward that I don't think I can visit that shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was the cute side of the cat girls. Hmm? Says Vanilla. Something smells really nice over there. You're right, something smells really good, Master, says Chocolate. It definitely does. What does the smell ask, Kashao? I turn towards the source of it. Welcome, says the food stand cat. Would you like to try some delicious fresh takoyaki? Asks the girl. Would you like to try some piping hot takoyaki with like some bento flakes on top? She asks. Wow, it's a takoyaki shop run by a cat girl. That's pretty rare, huh, Master? Says Chocolate. Indeed, that little cat girl is cute, says Vanilla. It was a cat girl younger than Chocolate and Vanilla. She waved her tiny hands as she politely drew in customers. In human terms, she looked like she was about 12 or 13 years old. In cat years, she was about 6 months old. The young cat girls noticed us and ran over. It's an older sister cat girl, just like me, huh? Says the food stand cat. Mm-hmm, Chocolate is the same as you. Chocolate's gonna rub your neck. <laughs> Young cat girls are so innocent and super cute. They're the best, says Vanilla. I'll pat your head. Pat pat. I'm sorry that my cat girls are troubling you, says the food stand owner. Oh, you're the owner of those cat girls, she asks. The owner of the food stand greets us. Yes, I am, says Kashao. Ah, well, to be more exact, my little sister is their owner, he says. They're cute and smart cat girls, aren't they? Asks the food stand owner. They're so courteous and well-spoken, too, she says. Mine is still only seven months old. Maybe when she's a bit older, she'll be a fine cat girl like these two, she says. The food stand owner has a wry smile on her face like she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. At a glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it easy to overlook these things. Mine were originally strays, so I don't actually know how old they are, says Kashao. The veterinarian said they were twins, and were now about nine months old, says Kashao. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. Back then, they were really noisy, but it was all worth it, says Kashao. Shinjuri chan really taught us well, says Chocolate. She said we'd grow up to be good cat girls if we listened to her. Shinguri was tough on us, but thanks to her we learned a lot, says Vanilla. Really? What a wonderful owner you have, says the food stand owner. Ah, but Master is Master, says Chocolate. And Shinguri chan is Shinguri chan, right Master, asks Chocolate. In other words, Shinguri chan is an important friend, says Vanilla. And when we say Master, we are referring to Master over here, she says. Huh? <laughs> You're very well loved, Master, aren't you? asked the food stand owner. I'm very grateful, says Kashao. 
She lightly nudged me with her elbow. I respond with an embarrassed forced smile. Hearing this kind of stuff in public sure is embarrassing. Little cat girl, why don't you look up a bit? Asked Chocolate. Up like this? Asked the food stand cat. An opening. Rub, 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 says Vanilla. Rub, 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 says the food stand cat. The three of them were getting along very well. The food stand owner looked fondly at them from nearby. My cat girl was astray too, says the owner. On a day just like this, while I was selling tokiyaki, she came up to me with an empty stomach. I took her home, and she's been like a daughter to me, says the food stand owner. She's even been able to help me with the shop now. Humanoid cats are all the rage, but they're many times more difficult to take care of than regular cats, says the owner. Her words seemed tinged with blame and worry. She grumbled, letting out a sigh. Not that long ago, it wasn't rare to see a stray humanoid cats just wandering throughout town. But now, it's more likely f for one to see humanoid cats that were well-loved by their owners. Since the amount of unfortunate humanoid cats has decreased, there was more of a balance and the owners were quite elated. I really am disgusted with those who don't understand the responsibilities involved with owning cat girls, says the food stand owner. But then again, if it wasn't for them, I'd never have found my cute daughter, <laughs> she says. It was a bright and honest laugh. I nodded in agreement. That's true, says Kashao. This must be like how pets find their way back to their owners. I smiled at such uncharacteristic thought from me. Ah, that's right, says the food stand cat. Older cat sisters, would you like to try some tokiyaki? she asked. It's piping hot, has big a piece of octopus in it, and it's really tasty, she says. Really tasty tokiyaki, says Chocolate. Oh, but we're on our way home to have dinner, says Chocolate. Yes, Master is going to cook for us, so sorry, says Vanilla. Chocolate and Vanilla's shoulders dropped down heartedly. As they hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. I took a look at the little tokiyaki seller. Okay, three orders of tokiyaki. Can you do that for me? Asked Kashao. Three orders? Asked the food stand cat. Her large eyes blink as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me, chocolate and vanilla, says Kashao. Could you do that for me? I ask her. Okay, three orders, right? She asks. Master, we've got an order of three tokiyaki, says the food stand cat. Master, says chocolate and vanilla. It's going to take time to get home and make food after all, says Kashao. Besides, I want to try the tokiyaki here too. Okay, Chocolate's tummy is making big growly sounds too. Chocolate's really happy, she says. Master, you're so cool, says Vanilla. Shingiri wasn't kidding when she said a cindere older brother is a good thing, says Vanilla. Wait, what does that mean, asks Kashao. Okay, please choose the topping and flavors you'd like off this menu here, says the food stand owner. Since you were so nice to my cat girl, I'll throw it in for your charge, says the owner. Wow, thank you so much, says Chocolate. Chocolate likes them with mayonnaise on top. Thank you very much for your kindness. I'd like mine to be fresh roe and cheese flavor, says Vanilla. My question was completely ignored. Well, I guess I shouldn't let it bother me, huh? I wondered about that as I looked at Chocolate and Vanilla happily awaiting their tokiyaki in front of the food stand. Alright, everybody. Looks like we've made it to the next chapter, I guess you could say. And I'm going to call it here for this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Nekopara.